Hello there guys, my name is Coach Chad Dogs the Board, Bob Built for Theme Park News, and welcome to a Close But Not Forgotten from Bob at F Telling. Now, if you love this Close But Not Forgotten episode and you've got share many, many memories of Bob, share it in the comments down below and make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. And for now, guys, let's zoom into the video. So Bob at F Telling is a bobsleigh roller coaster. It only closed in 2019, ready for the new family coaster Max and Moritz, manufactured by Matt Rides. Uh, opening in 2020 next year uh, and this in this video we're going to sort of go over the statistics of Bob uh, the opening year the closing year the stats of the ride any interesting facts that we've picked up and also sharing my thoughts because of course I've never experienced this ride so I'm going to be sharing my thoughts based on footage images um, you know things said about the ride reviews uh, and things like that so let's start with the statistics of Bob at F Telling so the ride is manufactured by Intamin. It opened at the park on the 4th of April 1985, closing on the 1st um, of September 2019. Um, it's a custom model, it's not a clone. Um, we have a length of 1,719.2 feet, a height of 65.6 .6 feet, a speed of 37.3 miles per hour, and a duration of 1 minute 40. For the 2005 season, Bob's original inline seating cars were replaced with new cars that sit two across. The original cars were sold for La Vibora at Six Flags Over Texas. And the name of the coaster is inconsistent between park map signs and the park website. Swiss Bob, Bob, Bobsley or Baban, depending on where you look. The entrance sign is simply Bob and the name used on the roller coaster database, of course, where I got the information from. Now, one big thing to know about this ride is the, the sort of the atmosphere of the queue line, the station. It's got that whole Swiss feel and it feels fantastic. Uh, I looked at images, I've seen vlogs, I've seen videos, I've seen POVs, I've seen the official POV from the park. You know, the ride has got a very nice place in a lot of people's heart. And of course, when the ride did close in September 2019, a lot of people were really, really sad about the closure of this ride. And I can see why it's getting so many positive reviews throughout the years. Um, and it's such a great, great ride. It's such a brilliant ride uh, from the looks of it. It just had, it, you know, it, it might look, uh, I'm not going to say it looks ugly from the outside because, you know, it looks quite nice, but, you know, you know what I mean? It's sort of like, it feels weird in the forest. You've got this ginormous bobsled track. Um, so I think maybe like a paint job on, on the undercarriage of the track maybe won't make it look so plain uh, from the wide eye. But, I'll tell you what though, apart from that, I can't really see any problems with this ride. Uh, I know it, I know parks have to develop and parks have to sort of uh, move on from the uh, from the old rides, but I think this ride's going to have a special place in a lot of people's heart. Now, of course, if you don't know what's coming, Max and Morris is a Mac family coaster, like a kiddie family coaster, uh, that's coming next year in 2020. It's going to be using the existing Bob Station. Uh, but it will just uh, use uh, like the forest area. It'll have a nice theme to it, uh, and they'll all they did is literally just tore down the track, and they're going to leave the station as it is and bring in the new track to sort of uh, put through the station. It will be a dueling coaster um, for the kids. It'll be a good family attraction, a great family attraction, and it'll be great fun as well. So uh, it's good to see that the park is developing with this new family roller coaster coming in 2020. I'll explain more about that coaster in the 2020 and now. Analysis video, uh, which we're we'll talking about all the new rides and attractions come to the UK, Europe, Asia, America, and the rest of the world in separate videos. So make sure you stay tuned for all of that. Uh, those videos when they come next year in the new year, uh, around start of January time. So, uh, well, that's to be fair. I'm thinking about waiting until about February, end of February, start of March, because that's usually when the season starts. Uh, so I might hold off to just see if we get any extra details on some of the attractions we haven't got full confirmation of yet in terms of names and themes etc so uh, it should be interesting there but overall with Bob I'm really I'm really sad that this ride's gone uh, I don't I think it's been demolished I don't think it's getting relocated anywhere if I'm not mistaken I think it's been demolished so uh, unfortunately it's not going to go anywhere anytime soon but uh, I'm afraid it is heading to the scrapyard but uh, you know like I said it's got a lot of 
uh, special memories in a lot of people's hearts. So comment down below your memories of Bob and I'll reply to every single comment. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. For now guys, thank you very much for watching another Clothes But Not Forgotten episode. I'll promise in 2020 in the summer season I'll try and bring out a few more Clothes But Not Forgotten episodes. We've got loads to plan. We've got ones from Pleasure Island, Cloud Cuckoo Land at Alton Towers now that that's been replaced by the world David Williams. We've got a couple of coasters from Leesburg, Robin Hood from Wallaby Holland, you know the original wooden, wooden coaster before it got turned to untamed. We've got loads of clothes but not forgotten episodes planned next year. So stay tuned for all of that. My name is Coast Gel, keep living the coast of life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care. Have an awesome day, my friends.